successful operator at Microsoft, you ended up uh, becoming a venture capitalist. What was your thought process? How did you transition? Yeah, that, that's a great question, uh, uh, Kima. And I'm going to try and give you the short version, but that itself might take a little bit of time. So I'll try to keep it as short as possible, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm what I call myself an accidental venture capitalist. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, I wasn't sitting and dreaming someday, like, you know, oh my God, I really need to become a venture capitalist, some venture capitalist someday. How am I going to do that? When am I going to do that? It wasn't that at all. Okay. I had been working at Microsoft for a very long time. And I thought that I would probably like, you know, retire from Microsoft and that's it kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And then like, you know, after about 25 years or so, I started thinking about like, you know, hey, 25 years of my professional career is done. Uh, what should I be thinking about for the next 25 years kind of thing, okay? And uh, I started thinking about like, you know, hey, what am I doing at Microsoft? What am I learning? What is the impact that I'm having? And everything was, was all looking good and going well. And I thought that like, you know, hey, I could do this maybe for another 10 years, mm -hmm. maybe for another 12 years. But I started feeling that like, you know, hey, in the next 10 to 12 years, I might reach a stage where like I feel like, hey, I've done enough of this. Let me sort of, you know, be done with this kind of thing. And then I got panicked because like, hey, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to reach that stage in 10, 12 years, then what the hell do I do after that? Okay. Yeah. And and the, my, my, my sort of interest in learning, or it's not interest, my, my ability to learn something new, in my opinion, is only going down as opposed to increasing in terms of velocity. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And and I, I was also clear that if I ever left Microsoft, I was probably done working for a technology company. Mm. And the reason I say that is because if working for a technology company is exciting, for me, Microsoft is still as good as it gets. Right. Yeah. It's a fantastic company, a, a, a very broad footprint in terms of the number of in, in terms of the kinds of technologies that they are working on. It's a great company. I know a lot of the people there. Why would I trade that off for going and working in some other technology company? So I was sort of in this weird mode of like, you know, hey, if I work, I'm going to be working only at Microsoft, but I want to be doing something for the next 25, 30 years. And my, my heart tells me that in the next 10 years, I may reach a point where I may be sort of thinking I'm done, which I didn't want to. So I said, okay, I need to figure out something else new, right? And because I had, I had sort of in my head thought that like I wasn't going to go work for another company, it quickly boiled down to me that I had only two choices. Okay. One choice was, let me go. Uh, if I had some brilliant idea, let's say that I was willing to give the next 10 years of my life to, I could have gone and started my own company. Mm -hmm. and I can tell you, I did like, you know, sort of, you know, fudge around with that for like, you know, a few months, but I realized that like, you know, I, I wasn't coming up with something that I was so, so energized and so mm -hmm. excited that I was ready to sign up for 10 years. And it felt like, you know, Hey, the other option in front of me, the other choice in front of me is, to use all the ability and experience and operating skills and knowledge of the industry and technology that I had and be able to work with the next generation entrepreneurs and be able to help them build the next generation companies. So I said like, actually, as I was thinking, leaving Microsoft, I said like, hey, let me go learn what it means to be an investor, okay? And if that is going to, if I go to like that and if I think I can do that for the next 25 years, then I'll do it. If not, I'll sort of come back and really think harder about any ideas that I might have to be able to start a company kind of thing. Uh, and the rest is history, right? Because it's been five yeah. and a half years now and I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, and, and so like that was the transition that I went through going from sort of being an operator at Microsoft to being a venture capitalist at Meta Venture Group. Interesting. Yeah, being an entrepreneur is a game of obsession and anxiety. I can attest to that. <laughs> the, the number of hours I'm obsessing over the business every day, <laughs> it's almost a 24-7. So if, you, if, you, uh, don't, if you're not excited about what you're trying to build, uh, you're signing up for a lot of anxiety.